Hello, greetings my friends, this is Gilles, welcome to my channel. I wanted to thank you for subscribing, for commenting, for sharing, for liking and uh, for your donations, I appreciate it. For now, it's still, um, for it, it allows me to keep the channel free. I may put some advertisement someday because I it will assist me in, uh, in in being a better referencing on YouTube. But uh, but for now, I prefer to keep those videos free. I don't really care much for um, for multimedia advertisement. Uh, it is important to be able to deal with, with external circumstances. Yes, yet our inner focus, our inner self, our inner light has to become primal, to follow your own intuition in all important matter, um, and to understand right or wrong generates unhappiness. And it is much better to choose to be happy than to choose to be right. For some people prefer to be right than to be happy, but to be happy in joy. For no amount of guilt can change the past, and no amount of anxiety can change the future. When we live in the past, we feel regret and blame and shame. When we live in the future, we feel anxiety and fear of the unknown. So do not blame yourself of us or others and release everyone. For Even if, if there is reason for, the, for you to blame this, that you may be right to blame someone else or blame, blame yourself for anything, it will not bring you joy and happiness. So release, forgive and move forward for the past is gone. And so... Always choose a better feeling thoughts, one thought at a time, and just go uh, find the better feeling thoughts. And and you need to we need to learn to pose, to pose, to get out of the the the, the merry-go-round, the, the the this the going in circle in short dimension, to move back to the still point, the zero point within the heart, to return to that 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 pose the that pose the place plane within ourselves, to go ever deeper within. For you cannot, we can, cannot be afraid that the real will ever disappear. The real always transforms; it, it can never be lost. So, uh, right now we're moving into a time where the other solutions will no longer work. So people will be forced to go within, and from there they will find they will find uh, much to, to much empowerment. Uh, so you, uh, for we cannot recreate the energies of the past. Even five minutes ago, it is past. It is old energy. It is gone. Huh? So so it's like uh, it's all the the blockages is all related to to the, the this past conditioning that we have. So make a clear blank canvas always, and trust that your higher self has a perfect plan for you. Huh? Allow new ideas to come in. And also many people will choose to, to leave the planet at this time, to reincarnate in future Earths, in, in an ascended planet. So it is not um, not to be criticized. Everything, death is only an illusion. They sold us death so we can be afraid to live. But um, not to say that life is not precious and we need to, we need to maintain the, the health and physical body and, and not to, to play with our life. But uh, but uh, death is, is actually a release, a transition time. And we'll, we'll come to discover that scientifically in this century. I don't know how long it will take, but the eternal nature of the soul will be proven scientifically. So the, there will be a great breakthrough in, in human consciousness to be to be sure that uh, no one dies in, in truth. Uh, the, for a few cars, the past is destiny. We are already anchored within our destiny. Where we are now is family. We're connecting to the soul, our soul plan and soul family. And the future is departing. There is this new beginning. We're going to be living, departing. What we're working on now is authenticity. And as we become more authentic, we learn to listen more and more to life, to, to the settled message of our heart and soul. For we, we, we came here because of that, because we were guided, we, we were exploring the galaxy, we were created as divine, eternal, cosmic beings, and we were exploring the galaxy. And when there, our heart was call, called us to this solar system, to this planet, and we decided to participate in that. There is no karma, there is no obligation. Everybody came here as a volunteer to this planet. We didn't come here to save the world or to or because of karmic relation or to, to suffer or anything. We came to explore, to participate, to to, to become <clears throat> to, to because we knew that we were gonna get so much growth from that. For for of course we, we as we, we liberate ourselves, we create this liberation, we, we, we break free from this cavern of Plato, from the darkness. So it is important. Our personal work is very important. But but it's very much for personal enjoyment that we chose to come here for this earth was created as a paradise, as a heaven. Although it is, it is under, under uh, still, uh, we still uh, in the other world is still uh, the manifestation of a dark matrix, but uh, it will no, la it will not last for very long. For we all had personal reason, different reason why we chose to come and incarnate. But it is, uh, for we created, our, we and we create our own personal life and matrix. It is all our own creation, and if it is our own creation, we can change it. We'll come to realize we have the power to change all of our creation, uh, but we cannot change the matrix of somebody 
else for they are the, it's their own creation sometimes they they pushing ideas on us and we're trying to change that but it's, it's just a matter of releasing what is not our own creation in order to move into what is created by us and and then from there we can recreate our reality and so um, call on your guides call on you call on the archangels call on your higher self and for those beings are really here to assist you in creating this this point uh, the, this empowerment for it is like you're, you're the king of a kingdom an inner kingdom the kingdom of god within that, that for the christ said my kingdom is not of this world it is of another world it is a spiritual kingdom and within this kingdom you are a king and, and or queen and you have an armies of generals which are your guides and, and they're commanding armies of angels uh, but, but if, if the king doesn't give the order to the generals the general will not take the liberty to send armies of angels so always sends angels forward in relationship to any situation so they can they can prepare the ground for you and just be be more aware on how to work with the with your invisible help and forces with this moon in balance is really powerful it brings a peace and equilibrium it's it's really a, a harmony and um, I, I recommend you rest well resting is very important so you can feel feel relaxed so to feel serene to feel at peace for what is done is done what is known is known the lessons that i've learned have been learned and it's no use to just just uh, to, to, to go back to that. It's been integrated um, for integration of, uh, of, of, of the I am that I am. Knowing your divinity is one thing, but, but believing in that is more powerful. For, for knowing is Aquarius, believing is Pisces. It comes afterwards. So first you know something, then you have to believe what you know. <laughs> and, and just repeat to yourself, I am love, I am light, I am that I am. And that will return. If you repeat that all day, at the end of the day, you will feel empowered. So continue to work with your whatever process feels right and, and fill yourself with the light of your soul. Be calm, be quiet about it and once you find, we find our soul, we'll, wanna, we'll be able to increase into an ever-increasing uh, higher frequency of spiritual, uh, uh, of our, of, of our, to, to reconnect to many aspects of our spiritual nature. So I just wanted to wish you a wonderful day and come... Um, come here to, to speak uh, for the highest wisdom is soulmates is reconnecting to that that, that family connection that soulmate this soulmates are we, we have soul plans whether it is personal professional social we have those beings that resonate on such a deep frequency it's also it's also about intimacy uh, but it, it's about tuning in aligning ourselves to that frequency so that we can align to the frequency of that uh, uh, of the we can align to the plan and then life will bring us together what we need to understand is um, moving near the precipice it's like choices are going to, we're going to need to make choices at some point what we need to do is the faithful heart is to be true to yourself to be faithful to god to be faithful to those you love and the outcome will be imagination. We're going to have a great deal more opportunity, inspiration, uh, a potential. Imagine a life of uh, a paradise life. Imagine a life filled with love where all things flow, all things are abundant. Where it is far greater than what we can imagine. This freedom point will, will bring a lot more than what uh, will be fulfilled. We'll be, uh, we'll be in deep gratitude for every day that we, 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 we spend on the planet after the point of freedom. But do not wait for the, for the other manifestation. Turn already within to find this event this connection within for there's a great deal of cleansing the, and, and there's many many uh, many beings many societies that i want to participate in this cleansing there's going to be a first contact believe it or not some people will stay catatonic when they come because they, they say, well, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> so be it huh? it's going to come when it's going to come <clears throat> there was an announcement that the egyptian god it was anubis the great Anubis was connected to Metatron. It's not a dark being that was made, but he's a warrior, and it's like they're building a fleet, a star fleet, of a, just to assist the Galactic Federation in the cleansing of what is going on. For they come from the 16th dimension, as far as I know, they're in the Lyrian constellation. They're part of the, the founding teams of that uh, of that of space quadrants, and so. But those beings were actually living on the Earth. Those were the Egyptian being, Egyptian god, or the, the Greek gods, or the Norwegian gods, or all kinds of gods, or Hindu Hinduist god. They were they were at some point they were living on the planet, but at some point everybody got the call to ascend and let the humanity <coughs> follow its course of self-determination um, before the arrival of the Christ. So, so, uh, but there was a great deal of a feeling of abandonment when, when all those beings left the planet. They were like, oh, <laughs> what do we do now? Uh, but uh, they will come back. They will return. They're already there on the invisible. You can already contact them. Um, ask ask uh, whatever connection in the spirit realm you make. They will respond now. So do not be surprised if you call and they respond.
So, uh, so I just want to come and say hello. I'm going to sing a song. If you want a private session, you can, you can send me an email. I'm not sure how long I'll do that. I'm getting ready for, for a great shift. <coughs> it's a song I haven't re rehearsed. It's a song that went through my mind. I didn't know who sang it or what the name of the song. Finally, I located it. It's a song of Ray Charles. It's called You Don't Know Me. You give your hand to me And then you say hello and you can hardly speak my heart is beating slow and anyone can tell you think you know me well but you don't know me no you don't know the one who dreams of you at night and long to kiss your lips and long to hold you tight to you i'm just a friend that's all i've ever been no you don't know me i never knew the art of making love though my heart ache with love for you, I'm afraid and shy To let my chance go by A chance that you might love me too You give your hand to me And then you say goodbye I watch you walk away Beside the lucky guy I know you'll never know The one who loves you so Well, you don't know me I said you'll never know The one who loves you so No, you don't know me that song and I have to rehearse it. But very soon I'm gonna get probably when I get set up at my, my house, my next home, I'm eager to go back to painting and to be a, to feel that I might start drawing again. But I'm gonna get a karaoke machine maybe before I can hire a musician or write music or do anything like that. Maybe just to to put a little music into those if I continue to make those videos. So um the, the, the card of the day is the revelation, is the Archangel Raziel. It's really the path of the hermit, enlightening your own way and enlightening the path of someone else. It says joy, uh, joy through spiritual fulfillment. So it is about the joy you'll find will be through your own energy fulfillment at this time. Enlighten, enlightening the path of someone else. Continue to shine your light. So your light will, as your light shines, it will enlighten the path of people around you. Find, find the answer to your questions through meditation. So rest and meditate for the answers will come. Amazing answers, amazing uh, for life is very, uh, it's like it can be an open book. We just need to, to clear up all the, the, the mental debris, the past, the, 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 to let go of all that. And then life will continue to, to unfold for us um, in the right way. I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you very much. And I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Namaste.